Hi everyone, this is Elena Mozaner. I am a hypnotherapist and coach and the founder of Alpha Mind app. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about emotional intelligence. Daniel Goleman, the, the American psychologist and um, the, the first one to talk about emotional intelligence in his book in 1995, points out five key aspects, key elements of emotional intelligence. They are uh, self-awareness, uh, self-regulation, empathy, motivation, and social skills. So empathy. Why is it important? Uh, when I talk to people about empathy and every so often somebody says, you know, I don't want to feel empathetic, especially to my opponent, especially to someone I, I'm in conflict with, right? Uh, they, they assume that uh, having empathy means being caring, loving, accepting, and um, compassionate right away. And obviously it's very hard to do when, when there is a bit of a you know, confusion and misunderstanding. But empathy can help you solve uh, problems and it can help you mitigate conflict tremendously. So how do you do that? Uh, I would argue that empathy doesn't mean that you have to feel compassionate right away. Empathy actually means your ability to get into someone's mind. That's right your ability to get into someone's frame of a reference. And uh, you can actually do that, you can practice that, you, uh, there's a way to do that. And uh, as a hypnotherapist myself, this is something that I do, not necessarily that I intervene into someone's head, I just use certain um, tools and techniques to help me understand my clients. And that's something that can be used in everyday life. And uh, here's how you do it. There is a, a more extensive way to achieve empathy, uh, which comes from, from uh, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and there's a technique called modeling. So you can model someone to help understand their, um, their mindset uh, on seven neurological levels, and they are this. So first, environment. Ask yourself, what do I live? What do I do? What is my environment? But, but imagine yourself being that person. So you say, I'm John, I'm Elena, I am... Uh, Natalie, mind you, you're not going to get and understand their secrets and their whole life. It's just about understanding how they feel or where they come from, okay? So um, try to understand, this is my environment, this is where I live, this is who I am, right? Really be that person. Then ask yourself the second one, what are, what are my behaviors? What are my actions? What are my behaviors? What am I doing in this life, right? Uh, what, what actions do I exert in this environment? Third thing, skills. What are my skills? That person has certain skills, certain capabilities, something that makes them unique ask what, what this is and describe. You can write those things down, right? This will really help you uh, get into that person's mind. Uh, fourth thing is motivation. What am I motivated by? Really ask the emotional factors behind that person's uh, skills and capabilities. Um, I'm gonna put those things down at the bottom or up top, whatever the video uh, you're seeing right now, so you can uh, you know start practicing these things. So that was number four, motivation. Number five, beliefs. So ask yourself, what do I believe in? Uh, what are my ideas? What are my, um, um, you know, ethical, philosophical ideas? What, what do I re What are my beliefs about this world? And finally, last two steps: identity. What is my identity? What are my core values? What do I really value? Do I value, um, uh, you know, imagine you're Oprah. What are my values? My values are spreading spirituality. My values are connecting people. Right. I'm giving you some examples. Um, and now number seven is spirit. So that's a spiritual thing. So that's the very top one. You ask yourself, what do I believe in? Am I, am I I'm Christian or um, I'm agnostic or I am, I'm an atheist or I'm a Buddhist. Um, I believe in science and, and, and meditation. And, and this, I'm just giving you some examples here. So really ask yourself, what are my bigger beliefs about this world and how this world works? So these are seven things. And this way, you, you really understand the person a lot deeper. Now, you can do this a few times about someone. And then later on, it'll become a lot easier for you to, to really get into the person's head, so to say. For me, it happens literally in, in split a uh, few few seconds. Um, I can I can take a deep breath, um, do a bit of meditation. I'm talking a bit of meditation, like like five to twenty second meditation, and I can really get into that person's uh, frame of reference, and that helps me understand. And then, um, if there is um, if I'm working with a client, or if there is some sort of disparity, that helps me see. Oh, okay, I see where they come from. They're, they they feel unappreciated, or they feel there's a sense of isolation or, or rejection or or they, they, they feel not heard, um, you know. So there are lots of different things that you can uh, you can start seeing. And that way you'll begin 
to see them from a different point of view, you'll understand them better, you'll communicate uh, with a different language and you'll approach the situation differently. So um, if you have any questions, please uh, post them at the bottom and remember to subscribe and uh, you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.